So today I wanted to do something a little bit different for my video. So there is this sculpture about an hour from me in Hopewell, New Jersey, and it's called The Awakening. And I came across it online the other day and I'm like, I have to see this thing. It is on the land of a former children's orphanage that was closed in the early 70s. It's also on over 400 acres of preserved farmland here in New Jersey. It's called St. Michael's um, Farm, Preserved Farmland, something like that. So I got to check this out. I'm going to walk around, explore a little bit. I'm staring right at the sculpture. It's right near the parking lot. And um, then, yeah, let's see how it goes. One does not become enlightened by imagining figures of light, but by making the darkness conscious. Through pride we are ever deceiving ourselves, but deep down below the surface of the average conscience a still, small voice says to us, something is out of tune. So the aluminum awakening sculpture, it's basically a 72 foot statue of a giant, which is embedded into the earth, uh, who is now freeing himself or struggling to free himself from the earth. Now this sculpture was done by J. Seward Johnson Jr. The statue has five separate pieces which are buried in the ground uh, which makes it appear that a giant is attempting to free himself. In one of Johnson's quotes he said I think this sculpture has a place in the universal subconscious. He woke up, he's coming to, and God only knows what this means. It's his awakening, it's also yours. There might be something bigger than you happening that you've got to wake up to. So this statue has a very profound meaning behind it where Johnson himself um, was talking about the collective unconscious and the awakening of, of an individual and what that can mean to, to each individual. The sculpture sits on St. Michael's Farm Preserve, which was the original site of St. Michael's uh, Orphanage, Asylum, and Industrial School. Uh, and this was owned by uh, Trenton Catholic Diocese, run by the Sisters of St. Francis. And it sits on um, the site of over 400 acres of preserved farmland right now in Hopewell, New Jersey. And uh, since then, all of the buildings have been demolished. There's no more orphanage. Uh, but you can see small remnants. Like you'll see some fire hydrants and some of the uh, pavement that was probably there from the previous buildings that were there. But mostly it's all farmland now. It's uh, very quiet, serene lots of land to, to walk through and um, it's just a really beautiful peaceful place to uh, remember you know the history and also to observe the, the sculpture and uh, a place where you can reflect on your own life and life journey so the orphanage operated from 1898 to 1973 the orphanage was at its peak in the 1930s where there was up to 450 children. They closed the building in 1973. At that time, it was housing about 56 children.
Wholeness is not achieved by cutting off a portion of one's being, but by integration of the contraries. You know, it symbolizes him being in his own subconscious or somewhere, uh, you know, in the depths where now he is coming back up to the surface. And it's not an easy road to come back up from the surface, as we all know, if we go through some sort of awakening or spiritual process in our lives. So the verdict is in. The sculpture is pretty freaking cool. I would walk around more, but I didn't come to walk around. There's a lot of land here, just peaceful farmland and fields and stuff that I really like, just like no people, no buildings. But, um, but I came primarily for the sculpture today, and I'm glad I took the hour drive. It was well worth it. Again, if you're in the area, Hopewell, New Jersey, called St. Michael's uh, Preserve Farmland, something like that but it's the awakening sculpture and um, pretty freaking cool I don't see too many cool things in my day my days are pretty boring so this was a pleasant surprise that made my day mm -hmm.